Hi, this is Mr. C from Divi Den. In this video, I'm going to cover the Divi Person Module Layout Kit number two of eight. How to import a single module, how to add styles, change colors, and make a new global. If this is the first video you're watching, I recommend that you go back and watch video number one in the series where we cover quite a few more things. It's an 18 minute video. Uh, you might find it helpful. For now, let's import the first module. So let's go to the site. This would be your website that you have installed. So, and obviously you have to have the Divi theme. So very simply, you log into the dashboard and you go to the Divi library. You click the import export button. Then you want to navigate to the zip file where you've unzipped all the um, Divi components that you've downloaded from the website after you've purchased it. So let's go choose file. In this case, we're doing number two, Divi person module JSON. That's the first file we want to import. Click the import button, wait for it to do its thing. It gives you a check mark, but it normally reloads again. So just to hold on that little bit extra. There you go. We've got them all imported. So the next thing we want to do is, let's say we want to make a page with it. So let's go with the three column. That's the one we want to use. And for that, we simply just go and make a new page. We click add new. We call the page two of eight. In this instance, that's the one we're doing. You want to click use the Divi Builder if it's not already selected. Um, it depends how your theme is set up, but you you might want to pick the right template over here. In this case, ours is the blank template. Uh, and then we want to import a, a module. In this case, we're not going to load from the library here because it will replace the entire page. We just want to add a module. So we click on the bottom here, add to library, from library. Let's go with a three person module. So there they are imported. Now we can just update the page and then let's go and take a look. <clears throat> there we go. So they imported, but as you can see, there's no CSS styles. There's no animations on them or anything like that. That means we have to go and add it. So that's the next step. Uh, let's go to our zip file that's been unzipped. Then let's go to the cascading style sheet here. You want to open that in your favorite text editor. We're just going to copy all of the information in there. Control A, Control Copy. And then we go into the theme settings, theme options. You scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you just paste into the custom CSS those styles that we've given you. So let's hit save. And then we can go back to the page and control shift R or reload the page. And there you go. So our styles are there. Now the next step is, uh, let's say we want to change the color. So we want to change this to black uh, instead of having everything white. Um, and for that, we want to create a new global uh, style. And uh, the reason we want to do that is because instead of going into every single one of these modules and changing all the colors, you can update this module once, update the CSS once, and then this module, whenever you clone it or duplicate it, it will have the same styles. So you don't have to go in and change every single one every single time. So let me show you how to do that. So we go back to the edit screen. We go to the person module and this lady we want to change so the first thing is uh, we working inside of the general settings we want to change light to dark in this instance because we want to choose a dark color um, let's see there's nothing else here except that one then we switch to advanced settings here's the icon color we want to change that um, so we've got a white color that's the one that we want to copy uh, just so that we can search that inside our style files. There we go. And replace those. We will do that in just a moment. Then the hover color, we want to change that to, to black. And then let's 
see what else we can do here. So make it slightly lighter. And then, then let's go. So uh, I didn't change the icon color, so let me change that to black as well. The hover color. Whew. Not much change here. Um, that looks absolutely disgusting, but we're just trying to show you as an example how it works. So that's the hover color. Let's go further. Uh, what else do we need? Let's hit a text color. This one is important. So we're going to change that to black as well. And then there's body text as well. Body font, body size, body text color. Uh, and that's also going to be black. So that would be all of them. Let's see. Yes. So now what we want to do is save and add to library. Then we want to pick the template name. So this will be uh, two of eight. And we leave it at that. Uh, and then, no, we don't want to include the general settings. Uh, yes, we want to make this a global item. So let's save and add to library. Now, this one's the new global item. So we want to delete these two guys and then simply clone this one and then drag them into the same position. That's the first step to create the global. Then we need to go and update the CSS styles. We need to go and uh, search for that white color. Let's have a quick look. Control Shift R. Uh, as you can see, there's still a white line over here and that comes from the CSS file. So let's go back to our text editor we've got white over there so we can go control copy control find we want to replace with black there we go um, find next replace and replace once more we can just hit replace all in this instance and then we click OK and then we're going to control A grab all of this and go back to our theme options uh, under custom CSS, control A, just delete that, control V, and then save the changes. And now if we go back, we can reload this page and everything should be black. So that concludes this video. What we went through was uh, how to import a single module into the library. We added the CSS styles. Then we added a module, then we changed the colors and we also searched the CSS styles to change all the white colors to the black colors and we updated the settings. We saved a new global and that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.